all right my dear learners uh, over there i thank you for choosing revision uganda as your number one uh, best provider of science and notes and video lessons uh, this is akim and we are moving on with our classification of living things and we are now going to look at groups of birds so uh, we have moved on uh, so far this is our lesson number number four so those of who have just joined us please uh i urge you to click uh to uh to click on the link there to just go and get the previous lessons that we have just covered uh once again i welcome you and i thank you for choosing revision uganda i am your teacher hakim let us get uh, started all right so um we are going to look at groups of birds these birds are very many they are in millions of numbers then these birds uh, we are going to classify them in two uh, categories one uh, we are going to classify them into like nine categories one we are going to have what to call praying birds or what we call birds of prey uh, two we shall get what to call uh, those birds that are called swimming birds we shall look at those birds that scratch so we call them the scratching birds then again we have what we call the scavenging birds or the scavenger birds then there are those who are birds that are called wedding or wedding birds then we have the birds that do climb we have the birds that don't fly so we call them the flight race uh, flight race birds the climbing birds the wading birds spring birds swimming birds scratching birds scavenger birds and also uh, uh, what you call the patching birds so these birds are very many but again uh, to summarize them we summarize them into groups and they are like nine or seven groups of uh, these birds all right today on our screen um, in our lesson we are having a type of bird uh, I mean a group of birds here so when you look at these birds we are having a foot and a beak then a full bird here now we are going to first get the characteristics of these birds we are seeing here one we are seeing the them having what you call a strong hooked beak so they have a strong hooked beak why do you think that the beak is hooked so the beak is hooked meaning that when it is feeding uh, it is feeding by tearing so it has all these birds here they have strong hooked beaks for a uh, tearing what are they going to tear their food then again when you look at their foot uh, the foot has talons these ones are what we call the talons then the foot is seen to be strong and the talons are so curved so uh, they have a uh, strong um, curved talons and these talons they are curved apart from being curved they are also sharp so even the beak is hooked and pointed so they have strong point a uh, hooked pointed what uh, beaks and also the talons are strong and they are curved at the same time they are sharp so meaning that these ones they are uh, having these characteristics they are curved they are strong and they are sharp uh, in order to enable it to do uh, do what grip and again when you look at this and is flying but as it is flying it is um, uh, uh, it is uh, having uh, the, the sense of sight and this sense it is so so good so again these birds they have a good eyesight for sporting now when you look at all this it means that these birds are hunting birds so the the class of birds that are hunting we call them the birds of prey we call them the birds of prey so my dear Lana, what you are seeing there are what you call birds of prey so the characteristics of these birds of prey one they have strong hooked pointed bricks uh, for tearing their prey then again they have strong covered talons and and these talons are sharp in order to grip or to carry their prey and they have a good eyesight a good eyesight in order to spot the prey even if when they are at a very high level from the ground okay now um in uh, in summary these birds of prey uh or we can call them uh, praying birds uh, they are hunting birds so uh, these are the birds that that hunt and kill their prey they hunt and kill their prey so what is a prey a prey is a small animal that is being hunted by another animal so a prey is a small animal hunted by another animal for food for example uh, uh, let, let me use this clear example so that you understand what a prey is uh, very fast we have a cat and also a rat so what which one chases the other so a cat 
Che says a rat. Therefore, a rat becomes a prey and a cat becomes a prey. A predator. So a predator chases a, a hunts a prey, then a prey is being hunted. Now even these birds they are behaving like cats and uh, cats and rats. So what makes them to are uh, able to hunt their feet? Uh, their feet have covered claws uh, or talons uh, in order when they get that prey they can just grip it. They put the the crown uh, the, the talons inside it and then they carry it up. Then they go, they settle, and uh, they start to tear it. So they have these beaks and the beaks are hooked, uh, meaning that they can tear up the prey. Then they have a good eye spotting sight in order not to miss any prey. Now, let us look at the prey these ones feed on. One, uh, on our cheeks. I think we've ever seen these birds at home there. They just come and get our cheeks from uh, nowhere. We just see when the cheek is now uh, just uh, being taken and we just try to shout but uh, no more it has gone. Uh -huh. They can even feed on snakes, some small snakes. Yes, they can just grip the snakes. They just get them squeeze um, um grip them with that do with those sharp turns then they take them up there they use their beaks to tear uh, them up and again they can feed on frogs then they can also get fish mm, they can get small fish then they get them and also uh, uh, they can get rats mm, they can get those small rats sweet they take them they just tear them then they eat them so uh, these are what we call the birds of the prey and those prey they are the small animals these birds feed on uh, we've said the chicks the snakes the frogs the fish and the rats that's why uh, if you remember in our villages i uh, find some farmers coloring their cheeks like uh, with red with green with pink with yellow why they are trying to make their cheeks come afraid within the environment resemble like some other birds to prevent them from the birds of a prey okay now let us some um, uh, let us get some examples of these birds of prey one the ego this ego is very strong and in uganda we don't have egos I'm repeating. In Uganda, we don't have egos. Those ones you see, they are not egos. An ego is very strong. Even it can carry a baby. Mm. Uh, these babies, once they are left in, uh, when maybe uh, a mother has gone with a baby in a garden, and now the baby is lying there in a court. Oh, these birds for them, they are merciless. They can just carry that baby and is just eaten. Uh, because they are very, 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 very strong. Their claws are very strong and the bird is soft it is strong to carry that heavy weight uh -huh. so apart from egos we have what we call the hoax uh hoax they're like um cocks then again we have what to call the kites actually in uganda what you normally see is a kite and again we have what to call the secretary bird a uh, secretary birds then also have what to call the crested flanculin crested Francolin, Fla Franco Lane. So, crested the Francolin, secretary birds, the kite, the hawks, the eagles are the best examples of birds of prey. We've said birds of prey are the birds that hunt, kill their uh, prey. A prey is a small animal hunted by another animal for what? Uh, for food. So, uh, the characteristics uh, in an exam, they can draw for you this food. They tell you to name that. The, the bird or an example or what it feeds on so you just look at a foot and you identify no gamba no this one has claws that are strong and they are curved and the beak is hooked and pointed then they should have a good eyesight okay now let us look at um, another class of birds or another group of uh, birds mm. now i think these birds you are seeing over there are common in your community Especially these birds are found uh, where we have the abattoir. Uh, abattoir, this is a place where these uh, cows are being slaughtered. And again, where they are selling fish, especially uh, where they are selling fish, uh, especially on a landing site. Mm -hmm. Landing sites, these birds are commonly found there. Now, these birds, they have long, thin legs, as you are seeing. So they have long, thin legs. Uh, with well spread feet uh, or toes and again when you look at their beak mm, the beak is heavy and the beak is conical meaning that these birds uh, they cannot tear 
even their feet, their, their talons that are there, they are not fit to grip. Therefore, these birds, they don't hunt. They are not hunting birds. Then these birds, we call them the scavenging birds. We call them the scavenging what? The scavenging birds. Or what we call the scavenger birds. Now, scavenger birds are the birds that feed on fleshly killed animals. Fleshly killed animals. So, those animals that have been killed, they just come and eat them they feed on them because for them they are not able to hunt they cannot grip they cannot tear so they wait you kill for them after killing for them then they just come and get the leftovers now uh, that's why we will normally see this bird in the abattoirs uh fishing sites because uh when they are cleaning the fish they remove the intestines they remove the gills for them they just come and pick the gills uh from the abattoir those small pieces of meat that are left uh, there they just come and get them so for them they are not able to do what to hunt instead they wait for 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 uh, the, uh, the, the others to kill for them then they just come and feed on them actually uh, these birds they behave like another animal which you call the hyena this hyena is not um, a bird but because it behaves like a scavenger this hyena cannot hunt that's why we normally see this uh, hyena uh, where lions are because these lions they are hunters after eating the leftovers then the hyena will just come uh, for the leftovers now uh, so these are scavenging birds. Then these scavenging birds, we can also say these are the birds that feed on carrions. Carrions, uh, in simple terms, it means that the meat of dead animals. So they just feed on carrions. Then the best examples, uh, we have this bird here. And this bird is called the marabou stock. It is called marabou stock. And some people make a mistake of writing this word stock. It is stock, S-T-O-R-K, stock, not stock, this one. Uh, neither are this. No, it is not this, not this, but it is this. So this one is read as marabou stock. It is marabou stock. Then apart from the marabou stock, we have also what to call the vultures. Mm, in Sega, in Sega, in Sega. So the vultures, and again we have what to call the crows. Uh, now these crows, um, uh, these crows, th these are the birds that have. Are they black? Uh, all of them they're black and they have a white tie or, or, or a white collar within their necks especially when you sort of uh, a bird you leave the head there the intestine so those small birds they just tend to stand there uh, somewhere watching you when you go they just come take the head they just take the intestines and so on uh-huh so those ones are what we call the crows so um, i'm about to talk the vultures and the crows are scavenger birds or the scavenging birds they feed on carrions or on leftover uh, meat of these cody animals then these scavenger birds are very important mm. yes they're very important in our environment how are uh, they hope to clean the environment but don't leave your answer always like this one because they can say how do they sweep the environment do they burn the rubbish what do they do so we say they help to clean the environment by feeding on carrions that would smell um and even rot and cause diseases within the enver environment so today we have discussed the birds of prey and also the scavenging birds please uh, click on the link below to get the notes and also the quizzes plus some revision questions about the birds we have discussed today so i remain hakim thank you for choosing revision uganda dot the region uganda dot com please subscribe share and follow we meet in the next lesson